What's up, dude? Okay, so <clears throat> this call sign Simba, and I see a lot of people on the forums having trouble with the autopilot. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, a tutorial. People are asking for all over, so I'm just gonna do it. All right. So pretty simple, actually. So if you're familiar with the 737 or whatever, and I compare, a, it's like a mix between the 73 and the A320 autopilot, or the Airbus autopilot, uh, MCP. So FMS speed, obviously, it's going to follow the flight plan, which is right now in following climb. So it's following Mach point. It's supposed to be, it's doing 298 knots until we hit uh, Mach point 764, and then it's going to follow Mach 764 up until we get to cruise, and then the cruise is Mach 7.64 anyways. So you know, it's not even going to change. But basically, that's what that is. Um, now, if we wanted to select our speed or change it if we click left click it's going to you'll see it's set to 297 right now because that's what we were at when we clicked left clicked it now if I move it it's not going to do anything but you'll see the shadowed box right here that's our would be speed like I don't know it's just it's a pre-selected speed basically so we have an active speed which is 900 or 297 knots Jesus Christ 900 that's a lot Not 297 knots now, if we move this, we we can have it pre-selected, so reduce speed 280. Now, you right-click it, and then that's the select speed. Now, I'm going to go back to FMS speed, so I don't go into a freaking rocket, um, but you know. Now, if you want to go straight from the FMS speed and change it directly, just right-click, and then change, you know, so it's pretty simple. Now, if you're familiar with the 7, the 777, and, or the 75, there's a heading select button on the heading. It's the same concept. You left click, you're going to follow that heading. You're not going to be following the nav anymore. Um, and it's kind of like the same concept with this, or with the speed. So if I turn left, it's not going to do anything. That's just the pre-selected. Now if I right click it, it's going to go that way. Um, if I right click again, it's already set to that, so it's going to do that again. Uh, so right click is follow, left click is heading select basically left click on speed is speed select um, or current speed hold speed hold that's what I would say yeah and then um, right click is gonna be you know change the speed and shit so yeah excuse the language um, now left click on altitude is altitude hold uh, I think it is like a 200 feet altitude. but it's like 200 feet basically something like that um, and then it holds that altitude to the foot apparently so you know that's pretty dope. Prof, uh, Prof is going to follow the FMS. So you'll see it's purple as well. That means it's magenta. So it's it's going to follow the FMS. Now there's not anything preventing us. We don't have an altitude constraint. But if, let's say we had flight well three two zero as an altitude constraint by Nant. Um, let's see if I can do it here before I actually get to three two zero. Yeah, so it's going to hold flight well three two zero. In in theory. It's yeah. See, there we go. It's holding flight level three two zero. No, I don't want that though. So I'm gonna right click it, and it's climb thrust. It's open climb. It would be in the Airbus, or basically L nav speed uh, intervene a few times. It's not necessarily flight level change, but if you have this is basically the equivalent of flight level change now, having the speed selected and that. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I actually, I, well, I'm, I'm doing this a lot better than I thought I would. Um, now, when there's top of climb and top of descent added, when it's finally added into the FMS, um, which people are going ape shit about it, I really don't know why. It's like not that difficult to. It, it is nice to have top of descent, but I mean, the ERJ doesn't have it. I don't think in real life, and pilot skill will get by, because it's obvious. It's, it's the obvious three. De it's the three degree calculation. I mean, you can just look up the calculation and it's not that difficult. Or you can eyeball it like I usually do and I yeah, I usually do it pretty well. Um start 60 miles out or whatever and then try from there. Um so that's basically it. Oh yeah, the, what I was saying though is the profile mode. Uh and now you can see, oh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. My ADHD is going crazy, but now you can see the alt climb is following Mach 7.764. Um so yeah. So what I'm saying though is prof is going to if you click prof when there's top of descent and then you select something oh no 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 I forgot I'm climbing dang it okay so if you 
select a lower altitude and then click pro f before top of descent um, it's going to uh, it's going to follow the descent path so you can't just have this altitude. every time I click it it says that no apparently not okay um, but if you just right click it and you keep it in there it's basically an altitude mo an altitude hold um, it's basically it'll basically be an altitude hold so altitude. see it's in hold so it's not going to do anything if you just select the lower altitude but if I click prof altitude. we get it altitude okay if I select prof before the top of these and it'll you know it'll show basically that's it um, it's really not that difficult um, I don't see why so many people will have a difficult time doing it oh also auto throttle if auto throttles I forgot to disarm that if auto throttle is giving you a hard time click that button twice and then it's your control now I don't want to do that because I'm in cruise so I'm just gonna click aisle flight again and again so I can go back to nav one but uh, so that will put auto throttle back in now if you want to disconnect autopilot soft button right here twice auto click pilot. bam okay um, or you can use press Z twice I guess they they map Z now to uh, that, pilot. so I can engage it with Z, which I have on my I have a thing on my joystick set to that. So if I double click Z now, it turns it off, and I click it once, it turns it back on. So that's really that's really useful. Good job TFDI for fixing that in the latest update. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a really good plane. I like it. If you know how to use it and get you know the quirks until they f uh, fix all the quirks, it's. Uh, it's a great aircraft, and the autopilot is giving people some hard times. And it's, it's the same thing as an MD-11. If you flew the PNDG MD-11, um, which I didn't really, uh, I'm just starting to get into it again, though. But you know, it's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you guys found it useful. Uh, yeah, see ya.